Susan Sun on a maker with SunIsFuture.net. We're here in Austin, Texas, and right next to me we have Calvin and Ida from the University of Western Ontario, right? And we are looking at their Sunstank car, right? Sunstank yeah. 2015. So tell us, uh, we'll start with Calvin and uh, tell us a little bit about your car and your whole experience in part of the team. So my experience started three years ago. I joined Sunstain as a first year student starting, uh, I started actually in the summer in between semesters and I was looking to gain experience, trying to get some hands-on engineering experience that I could use in my future career. And I thought that Sunstain would be a good option. I actually had a referral from Peter, who's just over there, one of my friends. And uh, he said, how about you join Sunstain? We, you know, we have a lot of fun. There's a lot of work that you do. You're gonna see a lot of opportunities. So, and uh, sure enough, he was right. I joined with the, with the intention of getting experience and I made some great friends along the way. So that's sort of what I've got out of it so far. And just from there, it's propelled me into getting a job and uh, just a really optimistic look at the future. Oh, fantastic. Uh, you mean you've done some interview already with uh, what kind of company were you? Uh, I've done interviews with several different types of companies, um, but I, right now I'm on an internship. I work for Nova Chemicals, they're a company that makes plastics. But in the interview, majority of the talk in the interview process for all of the different companies I was with really focused on Sunstain, and I could relate to all the experiences um, that I had working with teams, working with people, working with really cool, new, exciting technology, and being a part of something big, especially. and. Uh, being able to relate to the whole school spirit side of things as well, which has been really good. Wonderful. What about Ida? Did you have a similar experience or what year? Or yeah, uh, I'm actually a, a year above Calvin. I'm, I'm also doing an internship right now. I'm at the end of my term, but same thing. I, the employees like to see employers like to see that you have problem solving abilities. And with us, our situation, we had a lot of problems we needed to solve. We had a lot of <laughs> tight deadlines, tight budgets, uh, uh -huh. tight. Um, so I was able to talk a lot about all of the obstacles that we overcame. I've been on the team for uh, almost four years now. We, uh, I was part of the t team that started it up again. Um, so we started from the bottom up. Um, we have, we've had, this team has had a long history. However, we had a period where we were um, idle. Mm -hmm. So we started it up again in 2012. This is the second vehicle we've built since then. Oh. Um, and this is the second time we've come to the Formula Sun Grand Prix here in Austin, Texas. So tell us about the difference between the first and the second vehicle that you um, have. Quite a lot actually. Um, we've completely redesigned the top of the body. We have the bottom shell is still the same. We mm -hmm. have a new battery protection system. Our batteries are the same as last year. Mm -hmm. um, we've redesigned our frame. We used to have a steel frame, now we have an aluminum. Oh, one. so it's much lighter. Then. Yes, right. much lighter. Mm -hmm. um, our suspension is uh, generally a similar design, but it's still, that's also been redesigned. Uh, brakes are, have been, we've cut down weight there as well. Calvin himself was working on that brake redesign. Um, we were working on redesigning our motor as well. That's basically every aspect most of the, of the vehicle. Was, every yeah. aspect of the car was looked at or reevaluated uh, for this upcoming year's car. So Good. Well, always room for improvement, I'm sure. Always, yes. Oh, this is really good. And did you experience, uh, in terms of meeting deadline, that's probably one of the things that a lot of uh, students, if without a practical experience or participation in a team like this, probably wouldn't realize how much longer projects always end up taking. Yes, it's also hard to balance school, personal life, and also this is basically a full-time job for us. Oh, yes. um, we, we put in at least like 30 hours a week each person. Oh, that's quite a bit. On top of everything. On top of. It's just on top of everything else you do too. Oh, yes. so. On top of an engineering uh, degree. Yes, yes, school, yeah. yes. I know what it was like when I, when I was going through engineering yeah. curriculums to other uh, U of I. And, uh, but it's, uh, I hope it's really well worth it. I'm hearing oh. from both of you, both in terms of experience and future opportunities. It's really fantastic. And in the solar industry, what do you two um, foresee in terms of solar energy? How much of use do you think most of us or most the whole world can use For sure. I really, I think the big thing for me about solar when you're looking at renewables is how non-invasive it is. So if you consider wind energy, 
The issue that we see is that they are massive wind structures. We have lots of them actually in Canada. The, the noise, the use of no, the amount of noise that comes off from them, issues with wildlife. Um, so, but we really, I really do see a future for solar panel use because it is non-invasive. We can stick it on anything and everything. Mm -hmm. The future, the future, they need to be more efficient per square inch, per square centimeter, whatever it may be. And we also need better ways of storing electrical energy. So you see really cool, exciting companies like Tesla come out with new batteries, new, exciting, uh, cool cars, and. I, for myself, look forward to seeing more of that because I see the efficiency of them and just working on this project, um, you just see just the future for it and just how cool that would be in the future. Can you imagine the future of electric cars and solar panels, I think, are part of the future. Oh, definitely. Oh, would you like to add anything to yeah. that? Um, yes, I mean, we can, we can definitely put more research and technology into this solar panel technology, but a lot of it is perfecting the battery storage because if you can have a really efficient solar array but if you're not storing that energy efficiently if you're not using that energy efficiently it's the big problem you're and we just got back from san yeah. francisco and mm -hmm. uh going through the uh solar energy conference over there and intrasolar north america uh check our site out because uh, i actually went on did an interview several uh, companies that's dealing with um, battery storage, oh, okay. yeah, and there are actually companies like a Sonam Battery from uh, Europe now is coming to North America, and also there is a, a very interesting one you may want to look into is Acreon, which is um, uh, using a um, saltwater electrolyte based, so it's very safe and hey, okay. cool. and so the check it out. I'm seeing yeah. yes, there's a lot of things that's going on, both in terms of improvement in solar cell technology. Um, we also heard there's one that's uh, Prof Sky based, and that's actually going to be a potential game changer. So look into it. It's going to be very interesting. The coming decade, solar energy is going to be big. <laughs> and awesome. We will look forward to both of you, um, perhaps, in, even in the solar energy industries. And well, you have a wonderful day. Is there anything Thank else you. you'd like to add for us? Uh, um, it's good. Just thanks for your time. Appreciate uh, doing Oh, we appreciate you guys putting all those time. That's a, a lot of uh, time and effort. It's been a big commitment, but it's been worth it in the end. I think it's been, yeah, it's been a big commitment, worth it in the end. You've got uh, great experience and some good friends out of it. So definitely a good time. Very good. Well, thank you. How about Ida? Do you have anything else to add to, uh, for our viewers? Or? Projects like this is what pushes other young people to actually achieve great things. Um, I have great confidence that every engineer on this team is going to be out there creating amazing technology, making ridiculous designs, and we will be helping with the energy sector and like getting the solar energy out there, improving everything. It's fantastic, yes. This is probably the cleanest, safest, and probably the least invasive, or actually uh, also probably uh, potentially helping all nations not uh, without getting into any kind of conflicts. So hopefully. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. And your time. Signing off, Susan Zahn, Nanamaker with SunnistFeature.net.